So this is uh, a wonderful example of how a Chinese painting carries its own history along with it. You have the painting itself and uh, it actually bears an attribution from an early colophon. We see Zhao Mengfu, who is a famous 14th century, late 13th or 14th century uh, connoisseur who identifies it as uh, Da Nian. So that's Zhao Da Nian, who is a Northern Song painter. So we have a series of inscriptions following the painting that talk about uh, the work of art as they understood it from the 14th century on. So we have a little bit of the painting's history. Uh, it comes right down to the 20th century with a pair of seals that belong to Cici Wang, Wang Jiqin. Uh, so uh, we can trace this the, the history of the painting and its transmission across time so that when you unroll the scroll, the first thing you see is a title that introduces you to the painting before you get there. And this one is on beautiful uh, printed paper. Uh, it's written in very formal uh, uh, seal script. Then we have a gushui. The gushui is a piece of fabric that divides the painting from the world outside the painting. And the literal meaning of gushui is moat. So it really is a division between our world and the world of the painting. So when we cross over, we're now leaving behind the outside world and we're in the world that the artist has created for us. When we leave the painting, the story is not over. We still have this opportunity to share the impressions of other collectors and admirers across time. And so uh, this has many feet of colophons that have been inscribed by some of the most important connoisseurs from the Yuan Dynasty on. And uh, so the Chinese call it reaching, holding hands across the generations. But we're actually physically connected to this painting through generations of later admirers. So that is one special aspect of a hand scroll. When we show it, we like to unroll the scroll as completely as possible so that people can step by step imagine themselves unrolling the scroll, experiencing it stage after stage, and then being able to go back and look at the painting again with the perspective that have been offered by these colophons.